saw this clip on Twitter and I thought it was really interesting because this goes to speak to something that I've noticed already in London, which is becoming this trend of parties starting at like 12 p.m. So obviously drum shed is a big place that does it because there's a big massive 10,000, you know, capacity venue. Um, uh, Fold has an unfold night on the Sundays they do from 12. Um, and there's a few other off parties too that do the whole afternoon thing. And the old premise behind it is this. London has some really horrible licensing laws. So a lot of the nightclubs in London can't stay open until, can't stay open past 2 to 4 a.m. Some clubs have special licenses or some clubs just have longer opening times, one of them being Fold and obviously Fabric and maybe a couple of others in London. But for the most part, most nightclubs in London close at like 2 a.m., 4 a.m. So because of that, clubs now are having to be a bit more creative in how they open. So some are opening at midday and then having the rave run all the way until, you know, midnight or 1 a.m. So you can get essentially 13, 14 hours of raving in if, you know, if time permits. But me personally... I think the idea of leaving my house at 9 a.m., 10 a.m. to go to a party that starts at 12 is insane. Like, I don't know why that makes sense. I don't know why that's cool. I don't know why that's lit. I don't know why that's Gucci. That sounds like a fucking nightmare. Getting ready, showering on a Saturday to go to a rave at 12 is just fucking insane. I don't want to do that. Anyway, some kids do. Now there's a party this guy went to, I'm showing you now on Twitter, that starts at 9 a.m., this is a bit further forward, right? A bit more crazy than what we're used to. So not 12. This is now 9 a.m. 9 a.m. Imagine how insane this is. But I have a feeling this trend most likely will continue on in the UK. I have a feeling it will pick up in the UK. Someone's going to try and do this in the UK because you could get a lot more hours in. And obviously you can pack out the venue. And obviously, you know, most venues would love to have people in at 9 a.m. raving until fucking 9 p.m. It makes their job far easier. So here this guy's account of how it is to rave from 9 a.m. in the morning. What's up, it's your boy JJ. This is my first 9 a.m. party. Um, I'm going to be taking y'all through it. And I'm going to be taking y'all through how I do it. And uh, the intoxication, how I'm doing it at 9 o'clock in the morning. Y'all stay tuned. walking into the venue music's are playing the bar is popping over people are kinda it's not full at all it's, it's basically half empty he's having a good time though Now it's, it's, it's actually filling up. It's actually filling up. It's actually filling up. There's some fucking psychos that are pretty much okay with partying at 9 a.m. in the morning. Can you imagine how insane you have to be to rave at 9 a.m. in the morning? And not like 9 a.m. like a Bergheim thing or like a Berlin thing or like any other European city, right? This is like the party starts at 9. Fucking hell. Looks fun though. Looks kind of fun. Uh, uh, it's called R and B at nine a.m. That's a party. It's called R and B at nine a.m. So I guess it's a brand of parties. And again, I can see this taking off in London. This could definitely take off in London. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. But imagine going home hungover, turn up at like six p.m. Or not, or like, it's just too much. Your heart bouncing inside of your chest at like what, 6, 7, 8 p.m.? When are you going to go to bed? 4 a.m. the next day? 5, 7? Like, God Yeah, big up um, Abe Martinez. Um, I'm going to check all the Super Chats at the end of the pod. So anything that comes through, I'll shout them out at the end. I'll shout them out all at the end. But big up um, Abe Martinez. Appreciate you. I see you. 14 hour shifts. Thank God I've got you for four hours a day. Exactly. Big up Abe Martinez. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. But I'll shout out all of them at the end of the, at the, end of the stream. I guarantee I'll shout them all out at the end of the stream. Big up. Big up. Big up. Big up. 
Wow, it's actually four. I'm confused. I'm shocked. Ram. Anyway, you get the gist. You know what though? As great as this is, I would much rather see clubs just open longer. I'm sure this is going to take off in London. I'm sure somebody's going to start doing this in London. Someone will see this and it will definitely take off here for sure because we have clubs that just don't stay open long enough. But I'd much rather they build or they open way more 200 capacity to 500 capacity clubs and have them open longer, maybe 4 a.m., maybe 6 a.m. if you can stretch it, so that we have more options as opposed to having parties start at 9 in the fucking morning. Especially with British people, English people, we're fucking liabilities anyway. We're fucking drunks as it is. Having people that turn at nine in the morning onwards is just re is recipe for disaster. I can't imagine that ending well in any way, shape, or form. So, as great as this party is, as great as this incentive is, as great as this is as a new direction, I personally would like to see more clubs um, of a mid, small to mid level size less 1000 plus capacity sorry and more clubs of this kind of size so that we can have clubs open later in the morning as opposed to opening them super early in the morning that's what i would much prefer but again what do i know